Hi there, I'm Lisa. This is Ted, my partner, and their best friend, Hans the dog. On the 18th of March 2020, when COVID-19 spanned the globe and the world began to lock down, we decided to turn our lives upside down and begin the adventure of a lifetime. We threw in our jobs, packed up the car and purchased this 14th century Monument Historique de France. You have arrived. Woohoo! We have arrived. <laughs> With no previous experience, just £80,000 budget and a tent as a temporary residence, we plan to renovate this former House of Tabellion into a family home and thriving business. Learning new skills along the way, we have one year to bring this ancient Relay de Post back to life. We invite you to come along for the ride. So strap yourselves in and let the fun begin. Welcome back. We're back for part two. Part two. So if you haven't seen part one, you really need to go and see it. Um, this is part two of week 30 at Chateau de Montmagne. Welcome back, everybody. Midweek hello, hello, video. Hello, hello. Woohoo! Um, okay, one thing I really need to say before we start the part two oh, is... Oh, don't go on about your bleeding tea bags again. Well... Yeah, go on, <laughs> say it. <laughs> but this is it. This is what? You've got to put up with me having no caffeine. Well, it's not... Yeah. Anyway... Um, I'm not like, going to go on about the tea bags. What I'm going like, to go on about yeah. is, I can't remember what I was going to say. What was I going to say? <laughs> oh yes. Yeah, so if you remember, a few weeks ago, we um, or a couple of months ago, we said we was going to have a competition and um, for logos because we really need a logo for Chateau de Montmagne, and we only received one. Thank you very much for sending your logo in. Um, but we need some more to have a competition. Yeah, it's a bit disappointing. Yeah, it's come on, you people. Yeah. We're up to nearly 5,000 subscribers. We've got one artist out there. I don't think so. Yeah, so like, you know... Uh, Sheila Ray, I really thought you'd be sending one in. Yeah, I thought Sheila would do something. You know, like, I know she's done a beautiful picture and we could use that. But, you know, um, we thought it'd be a bit of fun for you. Come you know, on. A bit of fun, you know... A bit disappointing, really. A bit disappointing. <laughs> Buck your ideas up. <laughs> Pull your socks up. Pull your socks up. <laughs> and the thing is, is let's face it, in England, you're going to get locked down anyway, so you might as well do something. Yeah. It's because, you know, like the world's going to get locked down and we're all going to have Christmas over Zoom. Yeah. Or Skype or whatever. Anyway, please, we're going to extend it for another month. If you can, send us in some logos, just a line drawing of the buildings or something where we could put Shattered and Montmagny underneath would be wonderful. Yeah. Um, anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed part one of um, the recap and um, and hopefully it kind of made you realise the amount of work that's gone into that apartment because it kind of made me realise. Yeah, there's, there's lots of... The trouble is, is, and this is why we've got so many jobs on there, it's all little bits and pieces. And those little bits and pieces, because you can't get necessarily get the materials you want, take so much longer. And it's things like, you know, Lisa doing a floor, you know, you had to do, because we had years and years and years of grime on that floor. So it's had to be washed and washed and washed. I and cleaned washed. that floor so many times. And, and you know, it's, it's things like that. And then, you know, you get, you get into one part of it because, and, and I suppose because there's only us here and we're not as skilled as perhaps, you know, a team of builders would be. That would come in and do the job and finish it and get get out. You know, we don't have that where we thought we'd do that. So you know, and and obviously with us as well, as we integrate within the French society, life takes over. So things happen. You know, we we've got neighbours who need you know our help and 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 they you know and we need their help and so things take over and you don't necessarily get to crack on straight away so obviously things get l not left but pushed out and that's why it's taken so much that's time and that's you know and i think both of us are at the point where we need to go draw a line under that that's done we've prepped the downstairs already for demolition 
Yeah, so we've yeah we've run all that and that that we can we can go through and do in a in a you know next video maybe we'll go through and 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 show exactly what we've done there to yeah. to, to to crack on downstairs because that's our next next gig and I think both of us when we were going through um, ex deciding what we wanted and where we wanted it and this and that get really really excited whereas you get a little bit stagnated with what you're doing at the moment because it's just relentless doing jobs, 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 jobs. When you start to create and start to plan. That's when it gets exciting. That's the, then we start to get, oh, blimey, I'm getting really excited now. And this is good, you know, it, it's, it's brilliant. It so, but enjoy the video. So enjoy the recap or part two. And at the end of this video, you will see where we're actually at in apartment two at this very moment. Yeah. And um, hopefully. So, so what she's saying is at the end of that time, it's got to be in a state like that. Yeah. By the time you've watched this video, <laughs> so you better crack on and get up yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll get coffee. Is that all right? <laughs> Check it out. Yeah. And above all, like, subscribe. Check out the Patreon page. Check out the GoFundMe because that roof is still going to have to work and we're getting into winter and that roof's not done. Oh, and one thing I need to apologise um, to all those people. We've had so many people asking to join the Patreon-only Facebook page. Now, we do have a Chateau de Montmagne Facebook page um, and we have a separate group for the patrons only. So I'm very sorry that I have to decline those that aren't patrons um, to join the, the Facebook page for patrons only. But, um, che but check out that patron page. If you know, yeah. the, the, the Facebook the Facebook thing has been brilliant. And I, and I think it's such a result that Lisa set it up. And I think, you know, our patrons are really, seem to be really, you know, having a good time on it because, um, you know, you can upload the instant videos and, and they're chatting nice amongst themselves. they're sending us videos Yeah, back. they're sending us stuff and stuff that they're doing and it's great. So if you want to join that that group, and it is a good, it seems to be having, you know, a lot of fun on there, please have a look at the Patreon page. The first tier, five euros. And you get all the the background footage, you get all the, uh, the stuff, you know, you can... Day to ask, day yeah, day to day updates. You can ask us questions. You can, you know, and we can. Uh, there's lots of good stuff coming on that Patreon uh, page. So have a look, and then obviously, as soon as you join up there, you can join up in the Facebook page. Anyway, recap part two. On to the next step: fitting the shower screen. So after a lot of discussion, consulting the manual, discussing again, consulting the manual again, a bit more discussion, then a quick cup of tea, they decided to get going. said uh, it's probably the easiest shower tray he's ever put in, <laughs> shower uh, screen he's ever put in. He said he loved it so much, he thinks he he's going to become, all the rest of well he said, he said he might become a plumber. Yeah. That's cool. cool though, that, isn't it? That's cool though. Cool. <laughs> so the next step was to grout the floor tiles in the bathroom. Now, if anyone has ever brought building materials in France when you don't speak French and try to decipher how the hell you're supposed to use it, 
then you'll understand this next clip. So now the tiles were grouted, it was the worst job of all, trying to clean them off. And as if washing the bathroom floor wasn't enough, I went on to do the salon floor. Voila! One floor washed. What have you done? What do you mean, what have I done? Your list. What have you got in your hand? That's a list. So what is that? It's a list of bits of wood I've got to cut up. For? The ballon cupboard. Are you going to make the ballon cupboard? I might do. <laughs> yeah, nice. I'm going to have to make the ballon cupboard. Uh, and that's without the door. I haven't made the. Do I haven't put, included the door in this. This is just to face frame it, and to put some bits in, um, so I can put. So what in. is that list of what? This is a list of bits of wood I've got to cut. It's upside down. Is it? Yeah. Hang on. <laughs> do you want to do it upside down? So that's what you've got to cut for the ballon cupboard. Just for the ballon cupboard. Yeah. So it's all. What I want to do is is frame it in nicer timber and then make it available for when I make the panels and the door. So that's nothing, that, that's not making the panels or making the door. Okay. Cool. Let's see you do it. Mm. Next morning, after a couple of hours kip, he was straight on to it. After checking his list, he started cutting.
ein Cut hin. And cut in some more. And as simple as that, we have a ballon cupboard. Next job on the list, self-leveling the bedroom floor. I'm, I'm, I must admit, I'm quite nervous. Are you? Yeah. You know, you see this stuff, what happens? No. Well, it's just bubbling up, steaming, and as soon as it's a bit... Does it? No, it doesn't. You're you feeling me. Are you like feeling me? <laughs> It's going to explode. Well, uh, go on, just go for it, baby. What she is, bring one up this way, bring it up this way a bit. So with the self-leveling down, we just had to wait. So, next phase on the ceiling beams. You've seen a lot of work go into these, but we're into the final stage now. Uh, we need to apply a, what's it called, Ted? Uh, it's, uh, it's a, a woodwork, uh, yeah, woodwork killer, presentive coating. Uh, yeah, wood preserver, you know, like, so we don't get the wood one minute. There you go. So we don't get the wood one minute. So, we've got to apply two coats. Um, and uh, it does say it's solvent free, non toxic, but I'm going to take precautions because I'm working above my head. Last thing I want is for anything to drop into my eyes. Um, so, uh, so, yeah, so I'm going to wear a mask. And um, I found my old. Scuba diving mask, which I thought would be brilliant because it would cover my mouth and cover my eyes and nose and everything. So there you go. Um, okay, we're going under the water now. Which 
two coats done. Beams all protected. And I think I am too. I've got enough of it on me. Um, next step is to seal the beams. So that's the next step. Okay, so we've got here the window out of the salon uh, from apartment two and it had the coloured pane glass in it that was really naff glass. Um, before we get any comments, people saying, oh, coloured glass should keep it. Uh, we did have a pane glass specialist look at the glass and tell us it was crap. Get rid of it. <laughs> So he wasn't getting rid of anything that was worth anything. Um, so I've taken that out. You've all seen in previous weeks where I did the reglazing of the tea room window. So I'm not going to show you how to reglaze again. The difference I'm going to do this time is last time we went and brought the glass um, from the uh, DIY shop and got them to cut it. I'm going to try and cut it myself today. I've never done this before. Um, I found a glass cutter just a basic glass cutter and we found this here in one of the barns um, so I'm gonna give it a go we found some panes of glass that have obviously been left over when people have reglazed the windows previously um, and I'm gonna try and use them in uh, in this window to try and save some money basically so let's see how it goes and see if it's as easy as uh, everybody says it is Let's try it. And one snap. Yee wow. There you go, there's my pane of glass. Okay, let's go and see if it fits. Hope it fits. Yes, look at that. Fantastic. Okay. Let's cut the rest of it. Brilliant. So here's to remind you what the window looked like before. Now to replace this window would have cost us around a thousand pounds. So we've saved ourselves a lot of money. All that was left to do to finish it off was to make the Roman blind and the palmet. My assistant is going to come now. <laughs> and hold it for me and we can see if it actually works. <laughs> okay, fingers crossed. Today, I've mostly been a window. <laughs> You're a very lovely window, my darling. But hold it, you holding it? I'm holding it, I'm holding it, I'm holding it. Hold on, I'll hold it properly. Go on then. Woohoo! <laughs> that looks fabulous, doesn't it? It works! Look at that. Wow! Shall I let it go? Is that your first attempt at a Roman blind? Yeah! That's pretty bloody spectacular, isn't it? Look at that. <laughs> That's that fabulous, isn't it? So with my first attempt of making a Roman blind a success, I then went on to make a palmet for it. Now all that's left to do is make the curtains. So next step, wallpapering the bedroom wall in the Jean-Pierre suite. Mama, oh mama, won't you talk to your 
note about me I said, Mama, oh, Mama, won't you talk to your daughter about me She's a mean, mean lover and I ain't gonna leave her be I won't stand no quit and she won't die around Stand no quit and she won't die around Well, if she does, she be six feet in the So once Ted had done his bit of magic on the window board, this is what it looked like. Beautiful. I love it. Hello. So that brings you pretty much up to speed to the beginning of this week. And as you can see, we're back outside because the sun is shining. Beautiful blue sky. It's, it's a bit cold though. It's about five degrees. But it is a beautiful it's day. Lovely. It's gorgeous. Um, so, yeah, so you know you're up to speed. However, at the beginning of this week, we counted 33 jobs left to complete apartment two, the Jean Pierre suite. However, after starting the jobs, we added a few more to the list. So I think there's about 38 in the end, isn't there? The trouble is, is I think we do them and then they, they just go up as the as opposed to down. Yeah. Anyway, let's have a quick look at how we've got on so far. Today is Wednesday. And uh, we have till the next upload on Sunday to be able to show you. But let's see how we're getting on so far. I don't think we're doing too bad. It's all right. We're getting there. It's getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> British Rail, we're getting there. So let's start in the salon of the Jean-Pierre suite. We've got 16 jobs left to complete. First off was clean and seal the floor. Now, after the fifth time of cleaning this floor, I eventually got to seal it. And I think it looks amazing. We then installed the socket in the window and then installed the fridge into the cupboard. Ted then handmade the frame and the door, incorporating the Knights Templar sign that we have on the floor. Ted then made and fitted the cap on top of the beam. I then seem to have spent my whole week at the sewing machine where I made and fitted the blinds, the palmet and the curtains and commenced making the sofa furnishings. However, I run out of fabric 
and foam to be able to finish the back. But today, the fabric's arrived. Hopefully, the foam will arrive tomorrow and I'll be able to get that finished by the end of the week. I then painted the door frame on both doors going from the salon into the bedroom and the bathroom. Ted then made the plinth for the light and installed the light. Now this wasn't as simple as just installing a normal light and you'll see by Sunday's clip of what Ted had to do. Map and feather and paint the entrance of the doorway. Now this was a task that I'd never done before and didn't really know what I was doing but I think it worked out pretty good. Feathering in the plasterboard and the framing of the new wall into the stonework. It was then time to wallpaper the wall with my beautiful Laura Ashley wallpaper at a bargain £2.40 a roll. I then had to build the sofa. Now the reason why we've gone for a day bed in this room is because it's one of the larger apartments and because it's split out into two separate rooms with the lounge and the bedroom, it means that people could come and stay if they've got children. And the day bed also turns into either a large double bed or two single beds. Now, Ted isn't over keen on the bed, and I have to say, I'm not over keen, but it does allow us the flexibility of having a larger party in this apartment. So, with all that done, we now still have five jobs to complete. So now it's on to the bathroom. We've just nine jobs left to complete. So the first job was mine to refurb the window and to make and install the blinds. So as you can see, the window's done. However, the blind didn't hang properly, so I've got to do a bit of tinkering to make it right. Next job was the vanity mirror and light. Well, the mirror's installed and the light fitting is there, we just need to do the electrics. The tolls have been fitted, we just now need to grout and clean up. One toilet seat fitted and ready to use. So four more jobs to do until the bathroom is complete. So on to the last room, the bedroom. And with 13 jobs to complete, this was a bit of a tall task. And the only job we managed to complete was hanging the curtains. However, the wardrobe and vanity is coming along nicely and it shouldn't take too much longer before we can get some more of these jobs ticked off the list. So that's where we're at, at the beginning of Wednesday. Let's see how much more we can get done before you see us again on Sunday. And hopefully we can give you a walkthrough of the apartment and just show you really where we're at at that stage. I don't think we're going to be completely finished. No. Hopefully we'll have enough in place. I think it will just be the bed and the kitchen really to go. The bed and the kitchen. <laughs> You're open, aren't you? Um, yeah, maybe. But yeah, a lot of the jobs we're getting done. We're pushing on and... Um, yeah, it's really close, it's exciting. It is getting that way and, you know, it means we can move on and do other things. And I think next week, while Ted cracks on with the bed and the kitchen, I will start the next project, which is the tea room. Yeah, yeah, that'll be uh, interesting. That'll be lovely, I can't wait to do that. I wonder how much I'll get disturbed from doing <laughs> the bed and the kitchen. Ted, Ted, Ted! What do I do here? <laughs> can I do this? Shall I do this? I don't know, shall I do this? <laughs> and then, then me coming down the stairs going, what have you done? <laughs> anyway, we'll see you on Sunday for the walkthrough of the apartment. Take care, everyone. Stay see safe. Later. and um, see, Yeah, so, you know, stay safe in your lockdown wherever yeah. you are. If you're, if you're locked and, down, uh, yeah. Try and keep insane. Uh, insane? Try and keep try safe. And, try and keep insane. Oh, oh DPD oh. delivery. Hopefully, that's my furnishings. Thank you for Not being quite a chateau. Road. We do know who you are. We yeah, have watched. We have watched. We have watched. Yes. Yeah. Um, thank it's you great so much. What you're doing, what you're doing. Jane sent us some tea bags well uh, done, from her Jane. cupboard. And thank you so much. And thank you as well. We got an Amazon parcel this morning from the Donovan family <laughs> <laughs> with a huge bag of tea bags. So now I'm going to be Jeez. well happy for the next couple of months. Yeah, probably it's about couple 400 of tea bags. Thank yeah, you so couple, much. Couple of days. And some custard powder. Custard powder. So when I do my apple crumble at the weekend. Creme on glaze. Creme on glaze. Oh, I could try a creme on glaze. Yeah, I? yeah. I could try that. Well, that's that's all it is. 
custard. Is it? Creme anglaise is custard. What, cold custard? No, it's not cold custard. Oh, it don't have to be cold. It? It's just creme anglaise. It's just, you know, custard. Oh, well, I'll give it a go. Well, just, just for you, baby. I'll give it a go. Just for me? Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> I can eat. I can eat custard warm out the bowl, just custard on its own, it's lovely, mm. beautiful. Bananas are custard, love that. No, don't forget the bananas, just the custard. <laughs> anyway, or thank you so wine. much, you really did need to do yeah, that. No, you were just really having a laugh on the you. last video, but really it's lovely. really, really sweet of you. And, and um, anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're stay, staying safe in this lockdown period, and um, take care everyone, and we'll see yeah, you on take Sunday. Care. don't lose... You know, don't lose the plot and all that, you know. And I say, go and buy some books, read, read, go and read, go and do some pictures, go and do whatever. Have a little walk or about Or go this. back and watch their vlogs again. You could go and do that, <laughs> you pause, yeah, unfortunate. <laughs> anyway, take care everyone, love you all. Bye! Bye. See you Sunday! Oh, I can crack on with my furniture. Mama, oh mama, won't you talk to your daughter about me? I said, Mama, oh mama, won't you talk to your daughter about me? She's a mean, mean lover and I ain't gonna leave her be. I won't stand no quit and she won't die of a row. Stand no quit and she won't die me around Well if she does she be six feet in the I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of our supporters, all of our patrons and all of our donors to our GoFundMe page. And welcome to our new patron, Ellen Pearson. And thank you to Julie Fletcher for becoming our first ever annual patron. Thank you so much and welcome to the team, Ellen. If you would like to help support us in bringing this beautiful historical monument back to life, please visit our pages. The links are in the description. Take care, everybody. We'll see you next week. Bye.